My biggest gripe was Luffy. I'm not gonna lie. You know what's wild? As I was watching it, I was like, this nigga's too nice. It really didn't dawn on me that that's what I didn't like until I went back and watched the original episodes of the anime and was like, oh, brother, this guy stinks. I'm sorry. I'd have acted my ass off on that part when, she, you know, Arlong, when she was stabbing herself like that. She did decent, but it wasn't impactful like the anime. If you watch the anime of that, I got goosebumps. I felt nothing when I it's, watched it. It was uh, because of him. Yeah, it just didn't it didn't give off the same. Even if you watch One Piece and dub. Of course. That's what friends do. <gasps> He's gonna pay! Even if the voice acting don't, just the impact of the moment and how every the music of it all. That's what did it. It was the music, all what that happened, shit. how it looked, the walk. It was that. And they, it did not feel the same in a live action. Of course I will! <laughs> they should have just did the Arlong stabbing and then the walk. They should have did their own Let's shit go. right there. Right. Like I said, if you go back and watch the anime, Luffy comes off like an asshole. It's not that he's an asshole, he's just so free in his personality that yeah. and he he'll just say shit. He don't he don't even think about what the fuck he's saying because it's just how he is. The live action, he felt more thoughtful. I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. Luffy is thoughtful, but to his detriment. Luffy's way of being thoughtful is, I'm gonna smack the fuck out of you to get you to realize what the fuck you're doing wrong. Yeah. It was just a lot of scenes where I was just like, I can't fuck with them. Like, I know when they were going onto the Grand Line, I loved that scene in the anime when they all put their foot on the barrel and told their dreams. I feel like everybody did good, and I still was looking at him. I was like, nigga, you, you ain't doing it for me. Nothing's gonna stand in our way! Yeah! He just didn't like feel as carefree as, me, as I thought it was gonna look. It was a lot of times where if I was playing him, I wouldn't even be paying attention to the conversation. You're trying to portray your own Luffy right now. And I'm like, ah. Uh. Even the part where he was cleaning Zoro's sword, that part didn't feel like Luffy for me because there's only been a couple times when I can say Luffy was extremely unsure of himself. That was not one of those moments. No, it was not one of those moments. The one time I, I, I can finally say Luffy was unsure and felt like he made a mistake is when Kuma was sending everybody to different areas. Mm -hmm. That was the iconic moment where Luffy, like, it started to dawn on him what was happening. Outside of that, I can't remember a time where Luffy was that unsure of himself. Luffy has always been confident in any decision that he has ever made. Mm -hmm. He made a decision and he stuck to it, period. There was no second guessing the thought. But I'll say this though, yet. I still fuck with a lot of the casting though. Oh yeah, the casting was amazing. I know a lot of people didn't like Hawkeye Me Hawk. I did. I thought he was good. I that thought was Garp moved. He I, had personality. Yes, I thought Garp was good. Nice shot. I loved the show Queen of the South. So I liked that they chose him to be Shanks because he was a good Shanks. I'm gonna be real though. The one part that went harder is when and Shanks was trying to save Luffy and they went to go fight against those disrespectful ass pirates. That shit went harder in the live action than it did in the show. That shit went hard as a bitch, bro. Certain times I didn't like him, but I, I give him a, a plus and this nigga that played Arlong. When you first watch that shit and you see like everybody partying, when he's sitting on the throne, that nigga like, ah. He black as a bitch. I was like, let's go. Dude who played Zoro, that was probably my favorite character. He didn't get Zoro incredibly right, but he is very close. He's more of a uh, mellowed out Zoro, but it still feels organic to Zoro. The only thing that I wanted was him to just, I really wanted him to call out his moves just one time. He had to do it the whole time. <laughs> the dude who played the dude with the claws on his hands did a very fucking good job. When you first see him, like, you know, giving all the other butlers orders and then he fixes his glasses like they do in the anime, I was like, okay, you know what he does. I didn't even think I was going to like Usopp's character. Yeah. That nigga, especially when they were in the bar. Oh, bro, he did his motherfucking shit, bro. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> bro, and then when he beat the one dude, he was like, he's not beat him. Damn, nobody going to see it. They still fuck with the boy.
it's certain things that they need to embellish more. They need to make a lot more jokes with Usopp and Luffy, if I'm being real. Because Usopp and Luffy be having me fucking dying. Quick beat with your left, then slap that chin with a golden uppercut. Yeah! So funky. I can feel that job like a fire in my soul. You see, this is what happens when you leave Luffy alone with Usopp. I like a lot of the changes that they made. Like, I like that it still felt like One Piece, even though it didn't follow the story to a T. It didn't feel like they were trying to force it to be something that it wasn't. 